Hey guys, I'm back working on my uh, first LED cube. This is the uh, single color one. I like the way the black circuit board on the RGB so much I decided to put this one which was on the breadboard uh, also on a black circuit board. Uh, actually I got one <laughs> car got carried away and I actually painted the whole thing black and I call it goth circuit. I'll show you that in a second. But uh, uh, all the patterns here I, I wrote myself. I'm pretty happy with it considering I only have uh, one color to work with. Um, those are just going through the XYZ planes and this one is kind of like random dots and then it um, exploded. Uh, my wife inspired me this one. Uh, she said, well, it would be cool if it like goes around uh, like a snake. And so uh, that was a snake that goes up and down the cube. And then, uh, yeah, this is a star one, just random, and then it exploded from the middle. And then that one just spiral up and spiral back down. And then it uh, follows the corners of the cube. I thought it was pretty cool. So let's turn the light on and see what this goth circuit look like. <laughs> everything is black. I uh, actually spray painted everything. The uh, voltage regulator, as you can see, is painted. The uh, This is the um, resonator painted. The wires are actually are already black, but they probably got painted anyway. I got the uh, label here from Adafruit. And they just happen to be black, so it fits perfectly with the theme. There is a uh, 16 resistors down there that's also painted black. It looked kind of cooler earlier when it was uh, have some blue in it. There, 500, no, 470 ohm. So there's some blue in there, but I decided to paint it. Uh, no turning back now. But uh, the soldering job on this isn't as neat as the. Uh, RGB. This was my first one, so it, there were some imperfections there, and there are some challenges in bringing these wires down too, because I have to bring four wires separately for the uh, levels here: top level, second, third, and the bottom one there. So there's four wires there in addition to the 16 for each column of the LED for each spire. Let's see what else can we talk about. Ooh, the bottom is cool. And so I decided to put it on a uh, transparent plexiglass so you can see the bottom. Spent a long time on, <laughs> on desoldering, so I, I figured I better display it. Um, some interesting construction that's actually, uh, I didn't want to spend the money on a washer, so I made my own washer using a tube. It's just a little plastic tube. You can, I think it's probably for. Uh, aquariums or something and I just cut them and then use that as a little washer a standoff and it works pretty well uh, I ran out of room I wish I have room to put a switch here so this whole thing is actually always on the little velcro holds the battery uh, it's always plugged in and so you have to unplug it to turn this thing off um, let's see the uh, standalone Arduino, Arduino was quite challenging because of the space constraint there's four transistors down there to drive the uh, four levels and each of those has four resistors to go through the base and from the uh, pins, Arduino pin to the base of the transistor and I wanted to make sure that I could reprogram this so I actually have to put a header for the FDDI here um, oh there's a little tiny tiny uh, let's see if you could see that, yeah tiny uh, electrolytic capacitor 10 I think it's only 10 micro but I needed that because the LED sucks so much juice that without that the voltage actually fluctuates and, and affected the Arduino so it wouldn't actually run or I was having trouble uh, programming it so I think that's about it a lot of fun a lot of work it, it may be more work than the uh, RGB in some ways because I have to design this wiring here so delicately there is hardly any room in here on some of them I actually do not even have a separation between uh, the two lines you know you can cut the traces here but in some places I don't even have room to cut a trace 
so the wire comes out of the hole I don't know if you can see that one down there there's one right there by the red where the wire actually comes out of the cut trace instead of on the trace itself so uh, thanks for letting me ramble it was a lot of fun um, talk to you guys later bye bye